What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I have had an incredible day. I've been watching some Dan Salio, where they are literally killing the Eagles right now. It couldn't happen to a nicer team. But, um... One of the things that happens, you know, the the thing is with football, it's it's always comical to me because they think anybody who was good except for the Cowboys last year will be good this year and not realizing that half of the teams will that were playoff teams won't be playoff teams the next year. It, it's almost on average every single year. I mean, we know that nobody has repeated as NFC East champions since the Eagles did it 2002, 2003. 2004 it's just kind of the way it is and teams losing the Super Bowl with the exception of the Kansas City Chiefs don't usually go back now when you go to a Super Bowl there are things that happen that make it harder to repeat one you have a longer season you play more games you have less time to recover uh, your coaches become in big demand you know and take jobs elsewhere same thing with your players. Your players, some of them are free agents, go bye-bye. Others want to get paid. And we may be looking at this situation with the San Francisco 49ers. One thing that happened to them last year, and we know when Debo missed some games and being injured, and he seems to be getting a little more nicked up with his running style and his physicality, that he's not quite the same as he was a couple of years ago. And that's not to say he is not one of the best because he is, and he is so physical and dominating. Last year, it was Brandon Ayuk. Now, keep in mind something here. What's crazy is Debo's total catches, along with Ayuk's, were the exact number that CeeDee Lamb had last year. Yeah, exact same number of catches. So Brandon Ayuk has been in a uh, contract dispute and apparently has been told by the 49ers, or at least that's what he has gone on on Instagram or Twitter and basically said, they don't want me back. They don't want me back. And apparently is hinting that the commanders who have about 40 some million dollars in cap space do want to get him. So we may be seeing Brandon Ayuk to the Commanders. That would be interesting. Let's go to, uh, this is a clip from Pat McAfee with them discussing it a little bit. That's the clip that we saw, and that's Jaden Daniels, new quarterback for the Washington Commanders, who was obviously drafted in the first round to go be the quarterback of this next generation of the Commanders team. Uh, he, as a freshman quarterback at Arizona State, connected greatly with Ayuk as a senior wide receiver at Arizona State. The relationship has obviously been closely monitored throughout this entire process, with Jaden Daniels at one point even saying he knew where he was headed uh, in the draft. They have $45 million in cap space over there at the Washington Commanders. Mm -hmm. Is this video that I just watched on TikTok from Brandon Ayuk blogging of the entire thing telling me that he's going to the Commanders, AJ? Is that what, that's what I took? Congrats to the Commanders getting Brandon Ayuk is how I took that video right there. I, yeah, I guess, I guess there, there could be something be scary. to that. But, I mean, uh, it's a bit surprising to hear him say the Niners didn't want him. Like, he, there's no way they didn't want him, but they just don't want to offer him what he feels like he deserves. Is that what it is? It's yeah. got to be the only thing. Well, they did his agent tell him that they said they don't want him back? Did the offer that they made mm -hmm. him tell him that they didn't want him back? Is the entire sure. thought of drafting another wide receiver, mm -hmm. not getting his deal done, yeah. telling him that they don't want him back? Giving like, McCaffrey more money. Sure. Re redoing his contract yeah, to give him more yeah. money yeah. in this yeah. entire yeah. thing. Yeah. They have Brock Purdy on the lowest rookie mm -hmm. salary possible for another two years. So... Are they giving money elsewhere? It's it's a wild video yeah. clip that we see there. And does Jaden Daniels have enough pool as a rookie quarterback in Washington? You say, all right, you guys heard it. Get me Ayuk over here. Is that what's taking place in the video? It seems like that's what I just saw. I don't know, but I would love it. I would love Ayuk going over there and get paired up with Terry Mack, Terry McLaurin. Uh, give Jaden Daniels. Kind of, Plus it'll docking. be similar to what's going on in Chicago. You know, mm. putting all those weapons around Caleb mm -hmm. to be successful early. Uh, it makes sense, you know, from a game. you obviously going to be locked into that Daniels contract for the next few years mm -hmm. of the rookie deal. Bring a talent like this over. And, like, all those things you mentioned, you know, you get to this point in the, in the league, you kind of start reading that writing on the wall. You know, you're drafting this guy, you're paying that guy. 
And then maybe you, he did have a direct conversation with the team just saying, hey, you know what? He just probably doesn't fit into our future plans. But I am surprised that he let this clip out at this point. I feel like this is probably something that you put out after the fact. But, um, you know, it's a new, new day and age. Yeah, it might be leverage uh, mm -hmm. trying to be gained by Ayuk to let the entire world know, like, hey, I am very available if you want to make a play. Or maybe... They're talking about a friend group in town. True, sure. You know, yeah, that's going to be interesting. And, and Jane Davis possible. was like, thank God I knew this other group was the right. This mucky duck group yep. is the right group out of San Francisco as opposed to the one. But all indications is Ayuk isn't happy in San Fran. Mm -hmm. And now, seemingly, San Fran isn't happy with Ayuk in San Fran. This is wild. This is wild, to say the least. Um... Yeah, <laughs> this would be crazy. Um, you know, Dan Quinn, who is the head coach of the Commanders, who is getting kind of thrown under the bus for the cow uh, by the, you know the Cowboy fans and everything else, and so on, would love to make a big splash with a uh, proven wide receiver in Brandon Ayuk, and that would be, you know, as much as I would hate for the Commanders to get him because that would make them a much better team. Having him gone out of San Francisco, ooh, that could be a very, very fatal blow to uh, the San Francisco 49ers. And uh, you know what? Jason, Jason, I, I know you're watching, Jason, Jason, Jason. I know you're watching. You constantly email me and tell me that I'm not treating Jalen Hurts fair. I'm sorry, T.O. Hurts fairly when I don't add his rushing touchdowns. You always tell me that I'm an idiot because I think I said Seattle when I was going through and saying all the teams the Cowboys faced um, and stuff. I think I did say Seattle was a playoff team and they just missed. So forgive me, I do make mistakes there. Um, but I'm curious if you're going to email me about this pooch screw for the San Francisco 49ers that they may be letting go one of their best weapons or if nothing else that there's at least some bad feelings there uh this is a good day this is a good day if you're a cowboy fan because you know i know our quarterback's not signed yet but you know he's not throwing the coach and stuff under the bus and things i know cd lamb is not signed yet but he's not you know on social media saying they don't want me no more or anything like that so I'm feeling pretty good right now as a Cowboys fan that maybe, maybe that some of these other teams are crumbling before our eyes. Uh, we'll definitely be talking about this more tonight. Tune in at 9 o'clock Eastern. I can't wait to see you for our live stream. Why? Doesn't it seem that the Eagles took a shit on Jalen? And the owner and GM did. The owner, the GM, and the head coach took a shit on their quarterback. Why? That's not the kind of attitude and environment I want to go into training camp. <laughs> oh. Oh. 